At the very modern Visual Arts Center of New Jersey in Summit, there is a tribute to a different time, 1973. I came across a reference to an exhibition from 1973. I saw the exhibition title, Women Choose Women, and it kind of fascinated me because I'd never heard of the show, and I thought, what was that about? So I ordered the catalog, found an old copy of it, and discovered that it was the first museum survey in New York City that featured all female artists, and it was organized by women. It was a big deal at the time. There were 109 artists in the original show. And I remember going to the opening and finding it very exciting and being very happy that I was in it and that it happened because many of us artists, women artists, were part of a feminist movement in art, and this was the first real big museum show. Women Choose Women Again features 13 artists from the first show. Joan Snyder has a painting based on Proserpina. Faith Ringgold has one of her story quilts. And there's Joyce Kozlov. In the 1970s, she was one of the originators of the pattern and decoration movement. Her work at the Art Center returns to some of these themes. It's based on work I did in the 1970s. I never thought I would return to that work, which was part of a movement called Pattern and Decoration. So it feels like I'm coming full circle. You know, it's a completely different landscape now. So I asked each of these artists to invite another woman artist to join the show, making it Women Choose Women again 40 years later. Joyce Kozloff chose an old friend, artist Judith Henry. We were friends in college. We went to Italy together one summer. Uh, we, we studied Italian. And when we moved to New York, we shared an apartment. The Art Center is showing work from Judith Henry's series, Girls, Girls, Girls. In this, she is restaging the high school yearbook portraits of girls from all over the United States in different time periods, different social strata. She makes a sketch of each girl's face and uses that sketch as a mask and poses holding the mask. I chose 13 women from the original show and they each chose another woman. So it really became about this network. I also think that if a young female artist feels she doesn't have to be a feminist, she should thank some of these women who were feminists in the 1970s because perhaps that's why it's a little bit easier today, because of the, the efforts of women like these.